President Milos Zeman has confirmed that his country has been involved in producing the type of nerve agent used to poison the former Russian spy Sergei Skripal and his daughter in the UK in March. Bill Unas. Small amounts of Novichok were produced and tested in the Czech Republic. We know when and we know where. It would be hypocritical to pretend that such a thing never happened. The Czech president saying that Novichok had previously been produced and stored in the country could be seen as a very major development to the Skripal saga, given that this is a point that Russia had been making for a very long time, saying that this nerve agent that was said to have been behind the po poisoning of Sergei and Skripal and his daughter could have been produced in a number of countries, including the Czech Republic and the U.S. Now, it has to we have to be clear that the Czech president did say that Novichok... Uh, uh, was held in the country in a small amount and has been destroyed. However, this is key given that previously Czech ministers had denied this possibility. Russian claims that the Czech Republic is one of the four countries most likely to have manufactured the nerve agent used to poison Sergei Skripal and his daughter are wholly unsubstantiated and highly speculative. The Russians crossed all boundaries when they said the Novichok agent could have come from the Czech Republic. That is a lie. Now, if you remember, the UK was saying that it could only have been Russia behind the attack, or to use Theresa May's term, quote, highly likely. And this was along with a wider picture with British officials saying that uh, Russia had a history of similar uh, incidents, that it had been behind, that it could only have been Russia to have a motive in this case, as well as a handful of other accusations that had led to Westminster to point to Moscow. And of course, what unraveled was a major diplomatic step standoff, bringing ties between Russia and the UK to a new low. Uh, diplomats were expelled from a number of countries. There had been boycotts by top officials of attending the World Cup to be held in Russia in uh, the summer of 2018. So certainly major, circ uh, major consequences for this development. And of course, uh, despite the fact that we have seen uh, a major scientific labs such as Porton Down being unable to pinpoint the production of the nerve agent used in the attack as having come from Russia and the fact that Russia all along has been saying it had nothing to do with the incident and denied that it was involved in the Skripal case whatsoever. It had called for a joint investigation and really saw what happened as anti-Russia hysteria. This is what uh, the latest is that we heard from the Russian foreign minister on this. The UK government accused Russia and launched a massive anti-Russia political and information campaign without showing any evidence. It even didn't wait for the conclusion of the British investigation. They ignored all our proposals for a joint probe, our legal demands to produce evidence, including samples of the substance which was used. And of course, curiously, what we have seen is within especially the first month of this major Skripal scandal unraveling, this was the major biggest story on all sorts of headlines, especially, of course, here in Britain as well as throughout the world. Yet recently, especially following Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia's conditions improving, this story has kind of disappeared from the political and media limelight. So we will have to see whether or not it might resurface given these latest statements from the Czech Republic. The Czech president cited a report from the country's military intelligence. It said that a small amount of a Novichok nerve agent was previously produced, tested and destroyed in the Czech Republic. However, the president said that another report by the Czech counterintelligence agency identified the agent not as Novichok, but as a similar substance called A230. We heard from chemical weapons expert James Tour. There's probably at least a dozen countries that have the capability to make these persistent nerve agents. And uh, 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 it doesn't surprise me that, that the Czech Republic and many other countries could, could do this. The Czech Republic is very advanced in their chemical and synthetic chemistry ability. Many countries have made it in the past as part of a study on making nerve agents. And uh, uh, many countries have made nerve agents. If you want to study uh, what a persistent nerve agent can be like, something that, that is harder to detect, something that uh, 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 lasts much longer than a typical nerve agent like sarin or soman or GF, yeah. then you'd want to be making these and understanding how they work. Sometimes countries make it just to learn how to defend against it. So yes, this could have been made years ago and kept around for many years.